Good evening and welcome to the Orange Avenue Resurfacing Public Meeting. My name is Sam Jumber and I am the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will provide information on a project to repave Orange Avenue between North Magnolia Avenue and State Road 50. We want to hear from you and there are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to questions in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450577-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450 577-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located on Orange Avenue or State Road 527 from North Magnolia Avenue to State Road 50 or Colonial Drive. The project will repave all travel lanes except for a section from Mark Street to south of Park Lake Street where the road was recently resurfaced. Between North Magnolia Avenue and North Garland Avenue, Orange Avenue accommodates two-way traffic. South of North Garland Avenue, Orange Avenue is one-way southbound. Currently, on Orange Avenue from North Magnolia Avenue to the Legion Place North Garland Avenue intersection, there are three 11-foot wide travel lanes, two westbound lanes, and one eastbound lane. There is a paved shoulder on the eastbound side and sidewalks on both sides. This project will resurface this area. There are no other changes in this area. Currently, from the Legion Place North Garland Avenue intersection to Colonial Drive, there are three 11-foot wide travel lanes that all run southbound. There are eight-foot wide parking spaces on the eastbound side of the road and a five-foot wide bicycle lane on the westbound side. Sidewalks are also located on both sides of the road. This project will resurface part of this roadway. There are no other changes in this area. As mentioned earlier, 
This project will not be doing any work from Marks Street to just south of Park Lake Street, where the road was recently resurfaced. Design on this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in fall 2025 at an estimated cost of $734,000. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in late 2025 at an estimated cost of $1.2 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 17th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All written comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450-577-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Sam Jumber directly by email at samuel.jumber at dot.state.fl.us. That's S A M U E L dot J U M B E R at dot dot S T A T E dot F L dot U S or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Jumber at 386-943-5244 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 450-577-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by June 17, 2024. Have a good evening.